Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's Nightcap is nearly all steam engine related. I do a lot of work on this little steam engine to get it ready to go to work with a steam rally. I also do a, a brazen repair on a piece of real heavy wall copper pipe. Um, a lot of heat involved. Repair works out quite well. My daughter, Emmy, is home and she kind of comes in and does the draw for the box of Banggood drills that have been redonated as a prize. Good evening, uh, my name's Emmy, I'm John's daughter. Some of you who watch regularly will probably have seen me pop up every now and then. Whenever I come to visit, I like to come into the, the workshop and say hello to all y'all. Um, today's prize are these lovely drill bits. Really cool prize this time, and something I can pronounce, which is always good. So I'm going to do the draw, we'll see who the lucky winner is. I bought the bottom. Right, let us see. So, the winner today is... Adrian Brandwood. So the winner is Adrian Brandwood. Congratulations, you've won these fabulous drill bits which will be sent out to you in the post. It's been lovely to see you all. Enjoy the show. Thanks for watching as ever. See you again next time I'm home. Bye! Oh. Is that English? Oh. I think I speak better English than you. Oh, should I? Thanks, Emmy. That was great. All you have to do is get in touch with me by email, give us your address, and I'll get the drills posted up to you completely free of charge. I'm going to do another giveaway this week. This one's for a nice little verdict DTI gauge. Uh, it's a one I got off Bob. Real accurate one. I'll get a close up shot of that. in real nice condition this Bob's checked it out and everything's working fine if you want a chance of winning that all you have to do is send me an email that's my email address up there containing your full name like John Mills not just John your name goes into the bucket if it's drawn out I'll send you the prize off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. This is a boiler fuel water pipe of a traction engine and it's been caught by the frost. The pipe's actually swollen up and burst uh, due to the frost damage. It's obviously happened before because it's been brazed repaired there. This is really thick old tube, it'll be possibly 5mm thick, real heavy stuff. I've got oxyprotein which should be enough heat. Just to remove some of this old brass and see what happens and I need to see if I can repair it. And you can see the damage there in all its glory.
copper beam to take a straight and heat away. It's a fantastic way. It's going to be sloped down to see this. I think it's got a hamster stuck inside on it. I think I've quite a few repairs on it. It's been through the walls a little bit. Another hamster there. Simple way to line it up fairly accurately as well before you start to clump it in. Just to use a tail stock centre. That's going to push it into line. I'm just going to leave it on the back of the chuck there. It's, I could space it up, but it's, it, it'll do no harm in all the way it is there. And all you do is nip up each. Each jaw and turn. Snug them up. That's going to be running pretty true. To thread it hole anyway. I will put a I'll put a centre in, put a clock on, and see how near it actually is. Right, it's within sort of 15 thou. Might as well get it right. 
in the hydro, which is that one. I'll just nip that up. Hydro again, which is that one. That's pretty good. I had intended to drill this out to 18.25mm and tap it half inch BSP that's a half inch BSP tap there but the worry is that isn't going to be enough material left on the on the wall thickness basically the thread that's in there is parallel it's a very very slack fitting BSP 3S BSP what I could do is I could use this as a pattern and cast another one, but I don't want to do that, I want to, I want to use this. So I think what I'll do, I'll machine this flat, that face flat, and I'll make a custom made plug, a 19 TPI plug, that screws into there, and then drill and tap that. Quarter of SP. Probably a piece of brass that'll screw into there with a nice shoulder on, so it seals on that face there. Nice, tight fitting thread. Some thread lock on it and then it'll bring it back to quarter which I need quarter in there anyway so first things to machine that face flat I have to take it out of here obviously and put a another chuck on and then change all the changes we've done the lathe and cut the the 19 TPI adapter for it As you can see, things are running quite close here, but there's enough clearance. Just a wish for that. That's it. Yeah, do. Right, I've got some 70th hexi bar. It'll do the job, I don't know if you can hold hexi bar on a, a collar chuck, I'm sure I'll find out. Yep, can you feel you can. <coughs> right, I've checked this with a fair gauge, it definitely is. 19 thirds of the inch and it's parallel same size all the way through so there's no tape on it it's actually using 16mm all the way through so I think if I turn this down to 18 we'll have a mill of thread each side and then we'll screw cut at 19 TPI so it's 78 hex bar Machine only 18 mil, screwed 19 TPI. That sounds about about right. Right, I want it to go in for full thread depth so I can get 20 mil of thread in there. Put a little mark on it. I've seen the machine loads of brass lately.
right, that's 18. I'm just going to put a little recess in there for the screw cutting tool to drop into. quite nicely. Right, and a little lead on the front. Right, they all want some fridge. Right, I'm all set up to cut the 19 TPI thread. There will be the Imperial thread once I engage the feed nuts, I can't disengage them, I'll have to reverse the layers. Right, we'll do a, an exploratory cut. Just scratching the surface, so I can measure the thread. That looks like 19 to me. So, sort of result of what is to achieve. 